Yo, what's going on traders? What's going on team? I hope you all having a great day. Today I want to talk about a trade that I've lost yesterday. Uh, I'm sorry I was not that active yesterday. I couldn't get back to all your chats. So I'm really sorry that I was not answering your chats guys. I was busy with car and stuff. This morning I was in the garage with my mechanic as well. We fixed the uh, we fixed the steering and all that stuff for the Buick because the engine is nearly ready to get back into that monster 8.2 liters v8 pure power crazy car i man i can't wait to drive this thing i'm waiting for this thing for for more than a half year to get ready because the the engine rebuilder is crazy busy and i had to wait for so long anyways fuck that shit let's talk about why i lost this trade yesterday i mean i want to show you the reason why it's so important to take some partial profits guys I have recorded the whole trading session so you can see exactly what I was doing and I was really just waiting I didn't do anything I didn't took profits and I was really pissed off after I, that trade hit that stop I mean I was loading it up once um, but anyways yeah I took a buy position in here two entries when I when the market was going down a little bit more, I took the better entry and yeah, we had a nice reaction. Market went into I mean the first profit target ne nearly got hit, and I didn't took profits. Yeah, and that's why I'm a little bit pissed. And yeah, why I was buying guys? First of all, we broke a lot of structures. We grabbed a lot of liquidity. Market was coming down like crazy, and we just slashed through all the all the stop losses from buys so i expected the market to turn around and grab some stop loss from all the sellers that got into this huge drop in here so let's go to the one minute chart and let me show you what was going on yesterday the reason why i took the trade because you see that big drop and then I was waiting for this break of structure in here then for the pullback and then I was stepping into the game in here and later on I took that better entry in here so yeah when the market was here I was already up nearly 1.6 percent or something and I didn't took some profits I mean it's just it's just before breaking through this high in here so yeah fucked up I'm really pissed let me show you the trade real quick and how it went so this is the trade as you can see I have two entries in here I took one entry when it was dropping down somewhere in here and then later on I took another entry in here okay you see that all right so what was happening guys as you can see on the right side I was already up 60 grand the overall risk for this trade was around 80, 85,000, which is a little bit more than 1%. I, it was around 1.2%. And I've lost 80, 83,000, something like that, yesterday. So this was the moment when I was already up for 101. You see that? Easy 101. 100,000 on the clock. 120,000 on the clock, guys. And I didn't took profits. I'm so pissed. I mean... I could have easily closed the, the worst position, put the stop to break even, or closed the good position and put the stop to break even from that bad entry. Um, but I didn't do it, and I just waited to market to pull back, and then I decided to move my stop. You see that? I was moving the stop a little bit, because if the market hit that zone in here, if it comes back to that zone, I, I didn't want it to be involved no more. And then I was looking at price action, looking for another entry. I was really interested to load this thing up, because I really expected this thing to move, to hunt the, to hunt the stop losses above here, and maybe above here, you know? And this would have been crazy money. We're talking about, I think I would have banked between 300 to 600 grand. And yeah, I was really pissed, guys. I mean, you have three positions now into the market. Stop loss is around 1% risk. And then I decided to give it a little bit more air to breathe because I really didn't want to get stopped out. So I, yeah, I extended my, my, my risk to more than 1%, like 1.2% or something. And yeah, look at that. 
market gave us a nice reaction i was like yeah now it's coming it's coming easy easy money and it's coming back again i was like fuck and then it's coming coming up again i was like yeah yeah and then the market was just like fuck you rp you out man yeah guys so important lesson for me yesterday take partial profits take some risk off the table at the first target if you get such a nice move just before smashing through that high take something off the table secure the bag and take the risk off the table to make sure you're not making a losing trade it's much better to take a small profit and get stopped out instead of taking the whole loss like the whole one percent or something a little bit more than that in this case yeah that's it guys um we can't win every trade so i stick to my setup i took the trade i took my shot uh but i failed to take partial profits guys really important lesson guys uh yeah stick to your rules next time if i'm gonna do this again i'm going to slap myself in the face yeah anyways <laughs> have a great trading day guys new york session is going on in around 34 minutes i'm ready to smash the market today i hope i hope gold will pull back a little bit deeper steeper into that zone let me show you into this zone in here because we fucked up some buys in here before the market made that big ass push to the top so this zone is interesting in here. I'm going to check price action. I hope we're going to drop into that zone and then try to get the reverse to the top because we are still in a pretty bullish move. Even if we have a crazy strong reversal in here. But overall, the flow is pretty bullish. So let's see, guys. I keep you updated. If you're not in the free Telegram channel, Join. Check the link in the description, guys. Have a great day. Peace out. Yeah.